hello, hello to all of my Libras. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. Libra, we are about to close out the year, right? So let's close it out on a high note. Let's close it out on a high frequency, high vibration, all right? Let's do it. Let's get into your reading. This is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you, Libras. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So on the 29th of this month, uh, Mercury goes retrograde, but also we kick off a new phase within this cycle. And it's the first quarter moon phase in, in, um, in Aries. So that means everybody who wants to see change in their lives has to take the initiative first. Even if you were waiting for somebody else to take the, the change or close out a cycle for you, you have to take the initiative first or else you'll emotionally get drained and burned out because one, uh, Mercury is sending down messages to you. You're, you're a divine masculine sign, but you won't have a, you won't have a choice, but to receive messages, to take action in some kind of way, like ramp through those emotions and take some kind of action. And so here we have, um, the six of wands. We say, well, I have the five of swords. We also have the six of swords. Uh huh. We also have the tower card and this light here is uh, Mars is attached to the planet Mars. Mars is currently retrograde. It's the energy planet. Again, you decide whether you want energy hacks, you want to focus on energy hacks or you want to focus on energy leaks. And I do see somebody finally saying, hey, you know what? I need to put my swords down. I need to come out of fight mode. This is just too painful because remember, swords a double-edged sword, right? So that you could have said or did some things to hurt somebody or cut them like a sword and vice versa. But nevertheless, you said, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and sail away from this. And I'm not looking back. No regrets whatsoever. And I do see you being victorious, right? It looks like because you all are really the the, the fairest sign, really, you're the uh, more the most fair-minded sign that could have been extremely painful for you because again you're looking at I don't want to hurt I don't want to repay hurt with hurt but especially if you're dealing with a master manipulator no matter what you do somehow it's going to be turned into something else so you got to you got to be able to discern with that and source is going to send very clear messages to you that you got to focus on um, nurturing yourself. You got to focus on watering your own soil, getting rid of all that bitter and toxic, you know, poisonous um, energies that somebody may have left off, you know, in your it was like you may have been fighting with a regular sword and they were fighting with a sword with poison with laced in poison. You know what I'm saying? Like this. So I do see you getting back to work and earning your money. That's going to be something that's going to help you to stay focused. Um, somebody just wasn't playing fair. It was just never because you're the fair minded one. That's how somebody was able to manipulate you. Libra is okay. We know that fair. you know, some people vet you from the beginning. If you're dealing with a narcissist, if you had a, if you had a cut by a narcissist, it was never fair from the start. It was never fair from the start. So stay focused, Libra. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. Like I said, somebody could have um, somebody could have Aries in their chart. Somebody could have Scorpio in their chart. Uh, even if they don't, you may have to pull. I mean, depending on who's who is it connected to, you may have to pull their birth chart to find out exactly you know where it is in their chart. But it's something that there was something that you were very passionate about them. They were very passionate about you. And passion does not equate to sex. It could have been just passion. It could have been that, but it also could have been, you know, something else. They could have been just as driven or just as assertive or just as ambitious. You know what I'm saying? Like something having to do with passion as you are. And so, like I said before, but the, the cards were stacked against you from the beginning. So because somebody was dealing with somebody who, you know, something about them was just you know hurt from the beginning somebody was just dealing with a narcissist let me just say it somebody was just dealing with a narcissist and that can come in any any physical form it can come in a form of a man or woman or several people right but anyway so here we go um i'm looking at the emperor card again this lets me know it could have been an aries also but um the bottom line is or you could have aries in your chart remember aries this planet Mars is retrograde. So it's one of Aries planets, but it's also Scorpio's ruling planets, right? So it's Scorpio and Aries ruling planet. This planet right here, Mars, the tower card. 
bottom line is, is that somebody is saying, I'm going to focus on initiating the change. Remember, we have the first quarter moon in this sign, Aries. So this is about you initiating the change, some kind of putting a flame of fire up under you to say, okay, I need to, I need to physically get as far away from some kind of energy as possible. There could be some fear that this person could be, you know, like facing um, some kind of a death. Um, it could be a physical death or death rebirth. Um, but something is happening where it's, it's leaving someone in some kind of, you know, some kind of fear, some kind of fear, some kind of doubt. Somebody's like, I got to walk. I got to get as far away from this as possible. I got to seek some kind of spiritual help. I need, you know, to be connected to something that's going to nurture my spirit, whether you join a church, some kind of spiritual organization, something is going to help you to deepen your faith and source within you. But this is what you're headed towards the 10 of pentacles. You doing some kind of legacy, uh, something having to do with your legacy, and sources like just have faith, have faith, toss out all the bitterness. You may have. That's why it's so important when you're going through, um, when you're going through your own rebirth yourself, is to have the right energies around you. People who are not pouring salt on an open wound, whether they realize what they're doing or not. You need people who are very gentle around you. People who are. Um, who are just as nurturing as you are and just recognize if you need anything, let me know, but they're not putting themselves in harm's way. Cause if you're hurt, you know, you could be hurting other people. They're not putting themselves in harm's way. They're also holding you accountable. Like I understand you're going through X, Y, and Z, but you know, you're going to have to watch what you say or whatever. I'm here to help. I'm not here to hurt that kind of energy, right? You don't need a bunch of yes people. Here we have um, eight of cups. So I do see you stepping into your own light. Um, and I do see you walking away from something, like I said before, um, and just healing, walking away from something and healing. That's the main thing that you are healing. That's the, that's the key thing is healing above all everything else. The main thing is the healing part, the healing part, you know, for you. So let's see what else we got going on here. Libra, let's see what else we have going on here. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like somebody has always wanted a family because the Ten of Pentacles is like, uh, like I said, legacy wealth, right? It looks like somebody's always wanted to do something where it impacts your community and the world at large. You could be a public figure on social media. You could be like uh, a politician. You could be, you know, um, you could have your own business doing th whatever it is that you're doing. Something is like something with the public, right? So making some kind of impact on the public as part of your legacy. And so, like I said, somebody, you could have been in an argument with several people that the words were exchanged and it cut like a sword. So somebody you are getting as far away from as possible. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Five of swords. Again, we have the eight of cups again. We also have the Ace of Wands, we have the Devil card, we have the Moon card, and also the Knight of Cups. So we got several cards that we have here twice. So uh, Five of Swords we have twice. So it could have been several people that you were physically in an altercation, like a, fit, a verbal altercation with, or maybe even physical altercation. Um, we have the Eight of Cups twice. So you're walking away from several people. It's not just one person. You're walking away from several people. Somebody is just fed up. Somebody is tired of demonic soul ties. Somebody may have been afraid of something or nervous. And that energy um, was really causing you to vibrate low. So it was really affecting all areas of your life. And so this is, the, this is where you are right now, Libra. You are evaluating every single relationship in your life. Because somebody has really been through it. So that tower moment right here, this tower moment right here, you are literally saying, if, I, if, you, are, if you are in my life and you are draining my energy, I'm going to have to let you go. I'm going to let you have to emotionally fall by the wayside. I'm tired of people holding on to secrets. And see, this is, this is part of the journey, Libra, that Source wanted you to start listening to your intuition about things. And if, if somebody is, if somebody's leaking your energy, you're like, uh, uh, I, I need to first go to source, especially if it's a difficult situation where it's like, I can't just cut that person off. I'm going straight to source and say, source, please expose everything I need to know about this energy. I don't, I can't, I, I, I'm not, not, I can't, but I, I, I absolutely will not allow any more energy leaks in my life anymore. 
So your third eye is wide open. So when you, once you see something, you can't unsee it. You can go into denial if you want to, and it'll drain you, but you can't unsee it. And so sources like that is how you become your own knight in shining armor. That's how you become your own knight in shining armor. Somebody who's had been looking for their better half, right? You know, when people say that, that's just draining all into itself because you are your better half, right? So somebody was looking for somebody to complete them, whether it was in a business relationship or whether it was in a romantic situation when really the only person you need is you. So once you recognize that you came into this world whole and you know what nurtures your spirit and you, get, you are intimate with yourself you, you know yourself very well, like all your planetary placements in your universe, you can start the process of vetting energies that's trying to make themselves your way. So now you know that when love comes across your path, you're giving off the energy that I am, I know when, as a divine masculine, I know exactly how to activate my divine feminine. So I don't come across as being, I, I can do everything. I'm the I'm the man in a relationship, whether you're the man or the woman. I, I'm I'm so in my masculine that I don't know how to receive. I don't know how to, it's not a healthy receiving, right? So that was the purpose of somebody learning whatever they needed to learn. So let's keep it moving forward and so we can get it closed out. All right, so let's see what your let's see what another card is, and then we're gonna then we're gonna pull out some. Uh, so it looks like somebody has. Really, when I see the devil card, I know that somebody has been to hell. Like somebody has been through hell, like really. And so source is like, no, you're divinely protected because the only way that the devil can get in is through our minds, right? So here we have the five of wands. Somebody has dealing with somebody in their own personal hell. And here's the thing about people that's in their own personal hell. They give off energy of confusion. One day they're nice and they're trying to warm up to you. The next minute they blowing up at you and just blow torching you. Somebody should be sick and tired of the confusion. That devil card right there is something else. Somebody should just be tired of it. The author of confusion. You know, and so this is not about religion at all, but if if you know the stories in the Bible and you know how the enemy really doesn't have any control whatsoever, it tells you that in the book of Job that the enemy had to go to God to get permission from God um, to even wreak havoc in Job's life. So that should let you know that God is in the midst of all of this anyway. And so if God allowed whatever to happen, there was a message that was trying to get through to you. And so I think somebody got the message loud and clear, bring love into the situation, bring love into the situation. Yeah. So Aquarius is ruling planet or one of ruling planet is, uh, Uranus. And so somebody may have Uranus, somebody may have Air, Aquarius somewhere in their birth chart. It could be you could have Aquarius somewhere in your birth chart. But the ruling planet Uranus is the planet of change, liberation, and freedom. So this is how somebody's deciding, I'm going to get fixated on changing myself because Aquarius is a fixed sign, whereas you're a cardinal sign. I am going to be the one to initiate the change to liberate myself, to free myself from the devil's, you know, stronghold. I'm going to be the one to do it. I'm not waiting for somebody else to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it for myself and for the people who love me so that I don't, I don't give off the energy that I'm the one that's hostile, that I can't get my emotions under control because we got the five of swords out here twice. Yeah create art. Somebody could be an artist in some way, shape, form, or fashion. You could be an actor, actress. You could be a painter. You could be a songwriter or a culinary. You could be a chef. Whatever you're doing, somebody's creating art. You could be an author of a book or thinking about writing a book. Maybe you have a book in you. Something having to do with art. Something could have to say having to do with art, which is also going to help somebody um, tap back into their creativity again. This is your sacral chakra, your sacral chakra. Tapping back into your creativity again. 
777, I am in the flow. Again, having to do with water. So things are going to start flowing to you like water. Everything that you want is flowing to you like water. But remember, you have to have, you have to be that filter to make sure bad stuff doesn't come through your water. You know what I'm saying, Libra? So those are your emotions. That's your creativity. That's your joy. That's your uh, fertility. That's your pleasure. That's your sexuality. That's your wide range of emotions. So you have to be that filter, that water filter, so that people aren't dropping their negativity and sarcasm and shade off you know, to you while you're trying to heal from having an encounter with the devil right so your purpose flows from within and everything that is unfolding or being revealed to you is part of your purpose a state of peace and calmness in your soul that's right 777 is your number that's what i have for you let's pull one last card let's pull your affirmation card and let's go ahead and close it out let's pull your affirmation card and let's go ahead and close this out let's go ahead and close it out let's go ahead and close this out abundance see abundance Abundance is my birthright. There is a piece of pie with my name on it. Money flows to me easily and freely. I am attracting everything that I need for this season. I let go of what weighs me down. Opportunities align with my purpose. Surround me. I am true to myself. That's it. That is what I have for you. I will see you all in a couple of days. Again, remember to keep your vibrations very, very high and protect your universe protect your universe. That is what I have for you. I will see you all. Oh, and don't forget to listen to your sacral chakra music so you can flush out all those toxins and be able to sift through all those messages coming through. That's what I have for you, Libras. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye.